So, Katrina, you lose. Tell us a little bit about you. Uh, Katrina, Jacqueline, Rivera, Guillo. Oh, the Filipino side, you. That's uh, your mom. Yep, that's that was correct. Your mom. Uh, she moved over. Uh, she was born in Quezon City, and her and her family came to the U.S. when she was about 12. She has seven siblings, and we kind of grew up in Maryland, so for her to come back to the country, watch the games, I think it was really great for her. What is the best part about being a Filipino? Uh, I think just the culture, how welcoming everyone's been. Of course, I love the food. That's been know. the best part. <laughs> what? What's your best? What's your favorite? Food? Uh, punset, adobo, but I do love me the hollow hollow. <laughs> but the lumpia last night, I think I had a whole plate of that. <laughs> so good, so good, so good. Yes. All right. <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Jacqueline Sivicski. Um, my mother is of Filipino descent. She's from Baguio, Benguet uh, specifically. Okay, Baguio. Yeah, Baguio. I'd say, you know, the most Filipina thing about her that I admire most is, you know, how much fight and how hard working she is. She worked tirelessly throughout my career, day job and graveyard all at once. And I think, I think Filipinas really have that that carelessness, that selflessness about them, and, and they'll do anything for the people they love. So Sweet. Yeah. What do you love about the Philippines? Um, well, one thing I struggle with is the humidity, that's for sure, being born in Canada. Um, but, like I said, I, I, I've been loving the support we've been getting, um, the, the family vibe and, and the tropicalness of it all. So, a combination of everything and, and uh, we, hopefully we can play play in the Philippines again in, in the near future. My name is Sara Cristina Bantan Egisvik. Uh, Tagadabao ang mama ko. Oh, okay. And saan yung mommy mo ngayon? Where's your mom? Right now. Um, yes. She, uh, she traveled to Davao today. But she's been here to watch my games, to support ah. me, yeah. So, and you live in Denmark? Uh, Norway, I'm from Norway. Oh, you can live here now, yes. okay. And um, how does it feel to be a part of this Philippine league? It feels amazing for this to be my first camp and achieve this. And it's, it's been a great experience, just from the pre-camp to, to the tournament. I, I love every second. And what do you like most about the Philippines? Anything, people, food, experience? <sighs> Um, oh wow, there's so much, so much things to say, but um, maybe that the people, they're so friendly and uh, so welcoming. I feel like you, you don't get that in, anywhere. And where are you going from here? Pardon? Where are you going from here? Uh, going, when you leave here, where will you oh, go? Oh, I'm going to Davao tomorrow to visit my Lola and my family. Nice. And then I'll go back home. Right. They have some days off after this tournament because it's been uh, intense, but yeah, very fun. <laughs> Olivia Alexandra Davies Isaac McDaniel. All right, and where's your Filipino side from? Uh, my grandma is from Davao, and then my Lolo is from uh, Pampanga. And what's the best part about being Filipino? What are some of the favorite things about being Filipino? The food is my favorite part, and the parties. Getting to hang out. Eat Filipino food when you're in the U.S. Mm -hmm. I have um, all of my cousins. We get together sometimes, and we have parties for for every occasion, really. So, yeah, it's really fun. Karaoke, lumpia, food. Mm, there's a lot of things. <laughs> I would just say like Filipinos always like no matter what occasion we always like make everyone feel like a family and like being with this team it always feels like being with my with my family like when we come together gatherings it just feels like very welcoming and i would also say like filipinos and filipinas just know how to laugh and have like no matter what the situation is like we can always find humor and laughter in things and i think it's important to like not take things too seriously and to have fun and i definitely think this group has that and that's one of the big qualities that i love about being filipino i think the system it, it uh, really depends uh, from from my side as uh, on the management side we just to make sure that everything 
that the team leads is provided for, uh, from from the equipment, the, the venues, the travel, and everything. Yeah. So uh, on on the field, so that's uh, Coach Allen's department, so <laughs> he can answer that for you. Yeah. So. Um the combination of strictness and being like, you know, taking care of the team, how much of that comes into play in the way you handle this team? Look, it comes from everyone. I don't think it comes from one person. We have a staff of 10 or 12 people now and, and a playing group here of 28. So it's a, it's a big group of people who all come together and everyone has to chip in and do their little bit. Um, yes, we set the direction in terms of what we're going to do at training and how we're going to play and things like that, but ultimately it's a collective and, and again that's one of the main reasons why I think we have a lot of buy-in and a lot of, a lot of team harmony and team chemistry and collective spirits because we're all in it together and you know we set about doing this journey together as a group and I think you can see again the unity on the field. And how many players are you going to be taking to the World Cup? The World Cup will probably be, the last few World Cups will be 23. Uh, we had 27 here this week and Chandler, Chandler McDaniel is still recovering from injury. So, you know, it's going to be a big battle for spots and, and that's really healthy. The more players we have fighting for those spots, the better this thing's going to be.